So, but I feel like we saw a glimpse of this. That match with you and MJF, it felt like a very different version of Ethan Page. Thank you. You coming out to the ring, that promo had so much intensity. Yeah. And I know that the stakes were high, you know, AEW World Championship. You were in your hometown, yeah. Hamilton, Ontario. Like my dream venue with my parents in the front row, my daughter and wife in the front row. Yes. Was it, it Cops Coliseum? Cops Coliseum. Well, yeah. that that's the you're the man for saying that, by the way. <laughs> because now it's like the first Ontario Center or something like that. No, it's Cops Coliseum, home of the first ever Royal Rumble, won by Hacksaw Jim Duggan. <laughs> you know what's so funny to me, though? Is wrestling fans are so quick to say the new name of the person, right? Like, at the second that Adam Copeland debuts, he's no longer Edge. It's like, no, Adam Copeland. I think you mean Adam Copeland. Oh, right. I think you're talking about Adam. I think you're talking about Daniel Bryan, Brian Danielson. Oh, yeah. Dude, right? when, I, when you were talking about the LASIK earlier, in my brain, I'm like, say Paul White. Say Paul White. <laughs> say Paul White. Don't say Big Show. But what's so <laughs> funny is those exact same people will go, it'll always be the Sky Dome to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Always it'll, be the Staples Center. It's like, so you, it, it all, it's not Cryptos.com Arena. It's the Staples Center. So you'd rather just promote that other company that used to have the naming yeah, rights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But you're so quick to go, It's he's Paul White. It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> the exact are, people same picky, people. Man. It's always going to be Sky Dome to me. It hasn't been Sky Dome for like 15 years. Right. <laughs> it will always be Cops Coliseum, though. Fair enough. Yeah. But there was a, a real intensity there. Thank you. And I had something to prove that day. Yeah. You absolutely did. Yeah. And be, to be able to do that with you know the, the biggest prize in AEW, with the biggest star in AEW who has that, in your hometown, I don't yeah. think it gets any better than that. No, and that was because I wasn't in kind of the, the pathway to get to that, and it kind of just came out of nowhere. And the way it ended up playing out, everything made sense, and it was fantastic. I was like, whoa, this might be one of potentially the biggest nights of my career. And then that's when I started to kind of look at my career a little bit differently and was like, okay, I don't know how many more moments – in my life I might have that kind of resemble this. So either I go all in and try and get the most out of this. And that was a big part of changing my body and asking to do ring of honor uh, was like, okay, it's kind of now or never I turned 34. And I was like, Oh man, I'm 35 next year. Like I got some time left on this contract. Like what's, what's my plan? Yeah. And then that's everything kind of changed. Yeah. 